Hi everyone, it's Kathy Max and Craft Creations by Kathy. Today we're going to do something different. I think maybe I'm being a little ambitious, but all these ingredients here on the counter behind me, I am going to make Christmas cookies or cookies for Christmas. Um, my sister-in-law Melissa is coming over to help. Um, she wants to bake two, so I asked her if she wanted to try some cookies. So we're going to, I mean, I've made a batch here and there, but never in like a mass quantity. So we're gonna get together and she's heading over. So we're just going to make just some basic standards. Um, my husband's birthday is on the 18th. So he requested oatmeal raisin. So we will be doing that. Uh, Melissa wanted to try thumbprints. So we're gonna try that. I like peanut butter. So we're gonna do the peanut butter tassies, I think they're called with either the Hershey Kiss or the Reese Cup on top. So that is some of the things. I got some Chex Mix. We can make some Chex Mix. Um, Patty J. Good on YouTube, she has all kinds of different um, recipes that she had uh, made and that she gave away and she packaged them all cute in some bags and everything. So, so I got some Chex Mix and then she did some other versions with the Chex Mix. So I did get that kind of stuff. Uh, I even got stuff to make Rice Krispie treats, uh, probably Toll House pan cookies. That's like way back. Throw throw that. Huh? That's a throwback. Um, I had that recipe in my uh, in my recipe folder. So we're gonna be ambitious. So stick with us. Hope you enjoy. Okay, the first cookie we're gonna make. We're gonna make the oatmeal raisin cookie. Um, we need three quarters cup of the butter. Tells us in a medium bowl with electric mixer, cream together the butter, sugars, eggs, and vanilla. So that is what I will be doing. Get everything already pre-measured out. So three quarters cup. I have half a cup sugar and three quarters cup light brown sugar. Got to get the vanilla ready. Vanilla, one teaspoon and two eggs. I'm using my KitchenAid mixer. I'm gonna use the paddle. The paddle attachment. Lock it in and get it all creamed up. Then we're gonna scrape the sides. We're gonna add the oats, flour, baking soda, salt, cinnamon, and raisins. So we have one and a quarter cups all-purpose flour. We have a teaspoon baking soda, a teaspoon salt, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. So I got that all already pre-measured in my bowl. And then we have three cups of oats. So I'm just going to put in like maybe half of them. We're going to get that mixed up. And then we need about a cup of raisins. I don't know if my husband likes a lot of raisins or not. Maybe we'll give him a little more. Scrape down the sides. Thank you. 
and your oven is preheating at 350. We're gonna put them on a cookie sheet and we're gonna bake for eight minutes. Then it says check after eight minutes just to make sure the edges are slightly brown and the centers are not. So you want your edges to be a little brown so then they'll be soft and chewy. Here are the oatmeal raisin cookies. I think I got about 40. I got some more in the oven, about another dozen or so in the oven. But the best oatmeal raisin cookie I got off of Pinterest, when I open the oats, there is a recipe at the bottom of the lid. So if you didn't know that, there is a recipe there. Okay, this batch we're gonna do peanut butter cookies. We're gonna do a three ingredient peanut butter blossom. I'm double my batch. So one batch calls for one cup creamy peanut butter, three quarters cup granulated sugar, and one egg. So we're gonna double all that. So I got my cup and a half of sugar. I'm gonna do my eggs next. So I'm gonna do two eggs. cups of peanut butter. As much as we can. Scrape the peanut butter off the spoon. Then this one, I'm going to use the hook. Lock it in. And it basically just says to cream it. bottom. There's still some sugar down there. Just scrape it up. This says it makes 24 cookies. That's why I doubled it.
just going to make little balls. I got some little tass, tassy, little tiny little uh, baking pan. And then I make just do some regular balls and make them into cookies. But there's our three ingredient peanut butter. So the peanut butter cookies did not come out of my little pans. So we may have to do another batch. But they still taste very good. They do taste very good. <laughs> this recipe, we're going to do the Toll House Pan Cookies. Uh, we're going to beat butter, sugar, brown sugar, and vanilla. One cup softened butter, so it's going to be two sticks. Three quarters cup sugar, three quarters cup brown sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Uh, one teaspoon. Well, that's that'll be the in the flour mixture. So so far we've had one fail. We had the fail of peanut butter cookies. So we'll try a different recipe. They stuck in my pan. If I would have just made the cookies, we would have been good. There's the eggs, and I have the sugar and the brown sugar all in the same container. I'm going to use my paddle. Lock it. I'm going to mix it up. Then we'll be adding beat until creamy. Oops, I was supposed to add in the eggs last. Oh well, I don't think that's gonna matter. And then I'm going to add the flour mixture, which is two and a quarter cup flour, teaspoon baking soda, and a teaspoon of salt. We'll see how that looks at the end. Okay, now we're just gonna slowly add the flour mixture, flour, salt, and baking soda. that you can add your ingredients. I think then we're just going to add the Toll House semi-sweet chocolate morsels. And I think I used one whole 12 ounce or two cups. I don't like nuts in my stuff, so I'm going to skip the nuts. I'm going to put it in a 15 and a half by 10 and a half inch pan. Bake 375 for 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, this cookie we're going to do five ingredient raspberry cheesecake thumbprints. So we need, we're going to do a double batch. So a single batch is four ounces cream cheese and eight tablespoons of salted butter. So we're just going to cream them together and then we'll add some sugar. Okay, now we're going to add sugar for a single recipe, half a cup plus three tablespoons. So again, we doubled. So we're going to add our sugar and we're going to blend. Okay, now we're going to add the flour in. You add a little bit at a time. The recipe calls for one cup and three tablespoons, so we doubled that. Okay, 
Mm-hmm. We had to transfer it to a bowl, and then we're going to cover it with plastic wrap and stick it in the fridge for at least 45 minutes. We're on to the raspberry thumbprints. Um, I got them pushed all down. Um, the dough gets really soft and gooey, so you have to be quick. We're going to stick the rest of it back in the fridge, but I think we got two dozen um, that we're going to fill in. the. I think we're doing raspberry preserves. Okay, another fail. These are our thumbprints. I was supposed to buy jam. I couldn't find jam, and I bought fruit spread, and they spread all over. But the good news is we didn't use all the dough. We only did two dozen this way because the dough got gooey. So we put that in the fridge when we put these in the oven. Oh, there's one. One good one. This next batch, we're going to retry peanut butter cookies. We are going to use our sister-in-law's recipe. So tried and true. Peanut butter and shortening. We're blending. Then we're going to add a third cup sugar and brown sugar. We're adding the sugars and we're gonna blend till fluffy. Can we do it the other side? Yeah, fine. So we added uh, egg milk, vanilla, to the peanut butter and Crisco, blended that in. Now we have flour, baking soda. I think there's something else I put in there. Salt. And so you just add that in slowly. Rolling them in one inch balls, you roll the balls, peanut butter balls into sugar, put them on your cookie sheet, bake eight to ten minutes. Here is our Toll House cookies, I think that's what they were called. And then these are our new batch of peanut butter cookies, they look way better.